How's it going again everyone? We are in Newlands Corner today. It's quite a gloomy day, but it's early spring, so it's nice and warm out and yeah, really nice temperature at the moment. So the plan for today is we're going to go and find a really big yew tree and hopefully go and climb it and set a hammock up in the top of the tree. And we'll just test out the new mosquito hammock for the coming camping season during the spring and summer. And we'll see how that one goes as well, which I'm really excited to do. Woodlands Corner here is one of the best places to find all sorts of different types of mushrooms, really clean air and really old uh, undisturbed ground, which is what a lot of mycelium of the mushrooms love. So I'll show you around, I'll show you the awesome view. Woodlands Corner has one of the best rated views in the whole of the south of England. So I'll show you guys that along the way as well. And I'll show you some of the native trees and wildlife that are around at this time of year. These yew trees in this forest are just amazing. They create this really dark open space at the bottom of the forest, which is beautiful to walk through. And yeah, it feels really nice and open in here. So I love yew trees because they are so gnarly and textured and they look so old. The way they grow with their root systems, just like this one here. Look at that, sort of jungle looking. It looks so aged and beautiful. My mate always tells me these branches are as strong, if not stronger than steel. So some of the best trees to climb and that's what we'll be doing. So you can see what I mean out here in this sort of deciduous forest. It's very open with no leaves on the tree. But as soon as you go into the densely covered yew area, because these trees are evergreen, it becomes very dark and there's not a lot of shrubbery or undergrowth beneath here. It's really good, varied, special, unique habitat for animals that they just love using. Loads of badger sets around here. So we're just coming up now on supposedly one of the best views in the south of England. Super excited to see how it looks this time of year. Come here quite often, but early spring, late winter time. Let's see how it all looks. It is super windy out at the moment, but it's beautiful. It's not raining and I'm not complaining one bit about this weather. Perfect for climbing trees, not too hot, not too cold. No rain, so I'm not gonna slip off any of the branches. And a beautiful view around here. enjoying that beautiful view. It's time to go and find this big tree, set the hammocks up, and see how everything goes. Time to get back into this nice sheltered forest area and go and find the tree. I think it's this one. So you could hear probably out there on the microphone how windy it was. And in here, it's almost perfectly still. So the reason I love yew trees as well is because they come in all sorts of different formations, shapes, sizes, and all of them sort of have their own little unique character. Little bulging bits in certain places, little fat bits at the bottom bulging out. And it's really cool to see how each tree grows uniquely based on the environment that it grew up in and was surrounded by. Some of the yew trees have this awesome new growth on them. Lots of it as well. So you can see this yew tree here also has lots of holes, little grooves, cavities, nooks and crannies, which stem all the way up the trunk of the tree. And that stuff is just great for wildlife. It's great for nesting birds and owls, squirrels as well. And it just means that it can provide a sort of safe and sheltered space for the wildlife to go. They just provide a lot of different resources to nature from food to shelter, warmth, protection. They've sort of got it all. So 
And they are so beautiful for us to look at as well. You can see they are so versatile, some even like growing sideways. So it's the 17th of February today and I thought there would be a few more mushrooms out like there was last time in autumn when I came here but obviously that was just the most perfect time of year to come and look for mushrooms and they were everywhere. This spot right here is actually very special surrounding this tree because this is where I found my first ever fairy circle. It was sort of a mushroom formation that I had been keen to look for for a really long time, really interested in how they worked, how the mycelium grew. And I was super excited when I came out to look for mushrooms and actually found one right at the base of these two trees here. And it was really beautiful to see and I felt very thankful and grateful to be able to find that. So Newlands Corner is so great and I'm so blessed to have it just 20 minutes drive from my doorstep. It is an area of outstanding natural beauty in the UK, which means it's protected by all sorts of laws. And it's just such a perfect place for wildlife to thrive with all of these diverse habitats. So we're just coming up to the big U now. I've got to try and remember where it is and that might seem easy having been there before but when you're looking for a single U tree in a forest of thousands of them it can actually be quite disorientating and hard to find the exact one you're looking for, but hopefully I'll stumble upon it just by moosing around. <clears throat> ah, here it is, just up ahead. You can see it through the undergrowth here. All the yew trees around here are massive, but this is what I call a mother tree. It is huge. Probably goes 10 meters high, and we're about to climb that. Hopefully we'll set a hammock up at the top, chill out there for a little bit, appreciate the view, some of the nature, maybe we'll see a few birds from up in the treetops. We go up into their realm and just have a nice little climb. So we've got the big mother yew tree behind me. We're about to scale that. Firstly though, I want to test out my two hammocks. We'll put the smaller hammock at the top of the tree, but I just want to test out the mosquito hammock that I'm going to be using this spring and summer for camping. It's by a brand called Covacure. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Bought this off Amazon. It cost me about 22 quid and it comes with a mosquito net built in. Apparently it's rated for up to two people. I'm only ever going to be using it alone. So we'll see how this works. Put the mosquito net up as well. See how that works and yeah. If it works well, we'll be using this throughout the coming spring and summer for a lot of camping adventures. Okay, so I've got the hammock set up behind me. It really didn't take long, probably took me two or three minutes to set that up, really easy. You just wanna make sure your hammock is nice and tight at both ends. They do tend to sag and droop during the night, so you wanna have it as high as possible and as tight as possible, just so you basically don't end up on the floor. But I'm gonna give this a little test now. So the hammock is really nice, it's actually really comfortable, really easy to set up. The only sort of bugbear I have with it is I thought it would have some guy lines to pull out the mosquito net so it's not sort of sat on your face during the night. But I think you have to supply those yourself so I'm going to go have to buy some paracord. But I'll show you a little bit closer what it's like in the hammock and yeah, really comfortable, really spacious. I think it's going to work well for this spring and summer. Okay, so we're just going to try and sit down into the hammock and yeah this mozzie net see what I mean when I'm in here if it was pulled out it would be really good complaining at all super duper spacious in this hammock and with that mozzie net pulled out like it is I think this will work really really well
it is now time to climb the big tree. And hopefully, I was gonna set up my little one and show you a demonstration of that, but really I'm just gonna set that one up at the top because I can't be asked to get it all out of the bottom and just to show you. And I'll show you how it all works at the top. Really simple, basically exactly the same as the other hammock, just a little bit smaller and without that mosquito net. So yeah, let's get climbing. As I'm climbing this tree, you can see all of these cracks that are just going all the way up this yew, massive yew tree. We've still got about two thirds of the tree to climb, probably. And yeah, it's quite tiring climbing this tree. It is really big, but really fun because there's loads and loads of handholds. You always feel safe in this tree. It kind of supports you and holds onto you like in a little hand. I'll show you a small section in a bit as well really reminds me of kind of going caving. You've got to really squeeze through the middle of the tree where it kind of partitions off into just here. Just about to go through that section. Probably three or four, maybe five meters up at the moment. And I'm actually just trying to climb this with pretty much just one hand holding the camera phone with the other. You'll see what I mean with this really tight bit. I kind of like doing it, it makes me feel really secure. And also just trying to manipulate your body in a way that can get through this one. Yeah, just this little crack in the middle. Probably six or seven meters up. Really awesome, let's keep going. To the top. Okay. We'll concentrate here. Quite a technical section to squeeze through. And actually, I'm going to switch up sort of onto the other side. And through here. And actually, getting a nice little breeze and a stop off, a little rest. About seven or eight meters up. And I can just see the view. Got to go a little bit higher. Looking good so far. Haven't fallen down yet. Touch wood. Jeez, I'm cool. All right. Okay, we're up to pretty much what I call the bird's nest now. Pretty much at the top of this tree. So. Yeah, this is about as far as you can comfortably go up. I'd say we're about 10 meters high now. I'll show you how high we are. But firstly, let's have a look at this view. Kind of obstructed by branches, but it is absolutely beautiful just out there. This tree is sitting on the top of Newlands Corner. A uh, really high piece of land in Surrey. And this 10 meter U is sitting right at the top of it. So I mean, I'm probably the, at the one of the highest points in Surrey right now. Up in this beautiful, amazing, age-old yew tree. You can see how high up we are. I'll throw something down just to give you a little perspective, but I would say fair 10 meters. So I've just got this little kind of sitting spot that I like to use at the top of this tree and just down, just stored my bag and my jumper because it was really hot climbing. But I will show you from this perspective kind of how high up we actually are. So I'll chuck a little thing down, chuck this little sprig of you, and we'll try and get it all the way down to the bottom. There you go. Down there. Oh, 
there's something about being at the top of the tree that I just love. It's such an isolated kind of place. No one can disturb you. You can just do whatever you want up here, chill out, and enjoy the view. This is what I'm going to do now. Might look for a little spot to set my smaller hammock up and just see if I can, not hammock, but what you can do with these hammocks is string them in a U and that provides like a little seat, kind of like a swing that you can use and it's a bit comfier than just sitting on one of these really hard U branches, which eventually makes your ass a bit numb. Whew. That was a little bit sketchy, but I have managed to set up the small hammock 10 meters up in this yew tree, appreciating that view exactly where I wanted to put it. Just strung it up on a little branch up there and a little one up there. And I'm about to test it out and I really hope it works because falling from this height will not be nice. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's in the perfect place and I think the view will be amazing from in that hammock. So let's jump in. Oh shit. Okay, <laughs> I think you can tell by the big smile on my face that it actually worked. And I can't believe it really. I kind of thought I would get up here and wouldn't be able to find a spot or sort of shy out being 10 meters up, but I feel really secure. And to be honest, this is the maddest place I've ever set up a hammock. Um, there is a great view out through those branches, which you can see obviously with the naked eye the camera kind of picks up on the branches, but it is amazing. And I'll just show you where the forest in comparison to us. So there is, this is the massive view that we've just climbed, towering above, and we are swinging in a hammock all the way up here. I don't think I've ever actually set up a hammock this high in a tree, at the top of Newlands Corner, in one of the most beautiful places in the whole of south of England. I am very, very blessed to have this really near me and very blessed to have this yew tree supporting me and my hammock. And I'm just gonna chill out here for a bit. So I've just made my way over to the other side of the tree and just for a quick sense of scale, uh, I thought I'd show you this oak that we are standing opposite. So this is a quite mature oak tree and up here in this yew, level with the top of it so there's the bottom all the way down there on the forest floor and you can see that oak coming all the way up and we're at about the top level of the oak and the rest of the other trees in this forest so i'd say we're at, we're probably in the highest tree in the forest there is another really big oak here absolutely massive and we're probably level with the the crest the palm of that tree where it starts to spread out so I thought I'd show you a kind of alternative perspective on the hammock setup as well. So it's just on the other side of the tree. I've just made my way to this side just to show you kind of what it looks like. So behind us is the dense foresty area and out there is the kind of clearer view you can see with the clearer sky. So I've just set my hammock up right there, right at the top of this big tree. And I'll jump in it and try and get a little shot of me in it. kind of a sketchy operation getting in the hammock but it's all right getting out and once you're in super secure so you can really chill out up here i've tested this hammock out a number of times and i know that it's really strong so I'm not worried at all and i'm just going to enjoy my banana and look at the view Great little spot. I'm actually gonna climb down and show you guys if we can see the hammock from down there, what it looks like from down below. Give you another perspective of the height of this tree. 
and also just sort of see what can be seen from the ground below. I'm quite interested, so let's go have a look at that as well. So this is about the halfway point between the hammock and the ground. So I'll show you. It's all the way down there still. It's all the way up there. Let's keep going down. Ha! <laughs> My banana peel. Watch out that. Woo! Okay, so we're now on the ground next to the big tree and let's see if we can spot the hammock and let's see how high up it looks from down here. So, we'll come a little bit back. So on this side, you can see the tree here. And the hammock is all the way up there. So it is super high up. You can see why there's such a brilliant view up there. And yeah, I'm just excited to climb back up back to it. It's really not a hard climb, so coming up and down this tree, if you drop something, it's not the end of the world. And it's really fun because there's multiple different routes. It's kind of like a climbing wall. You can take a different route each time, challenge yourself, or just take the easy route, which is what I might do here, because I've been up and down this like a yo-yo today. And feeling very, energetic because of it so yeah so this tree is so good and facilitating it even comes with your own little bag holder perfect Probably been sitting up here for maybe an hour now. It's super comfortable. I've just been, I had a banana and then I uh, did a little bit of editing and just chilled out for a little bit and did a little bit of bird watching as well. I think I'm gonna try and get down now, but firstly, I wanna show you guys the view a little bit better because I haven't been able to get very many good like videos of it having the tree cover in the way. So I'm gonna climb out along these branches to the edge of the tree, still nice and high up where we are here and hopefully just get a nice video of the view and also a better perspective of the overall surroundings. So I've got quite comfortable up here having been sitting in the hammock for a long time and so I just climbed out quite far away from the actual base of the tree and then it kind of hit me how high up I was and I got one of those moments where you get those butterflies in your stomach and start to get a little bit shaky but I'm just going to show you guys the view out here and then climb back because it is a little bit scary being at so far. So, that is a bit of a better view of what uh, you can see from the hammock kind of. Obviously your eyes can pick out that, that view a bit better than the camera. But you can see we are literally one of the tallest trees around here. There's a big oak just to the left there. And you can see we are at the proper canopy height. I'm just standing out here at the moment on these branches, actually quite far away from the main trunk of the tree. But because the light is all this way, having the clearing this way, this is where the majority of the branches are. So it still feels pretty stable. And actually I could probably just sit down out here as well, quite comfortably. So that, that's the main tree. And I've just climbed out along that branch there. And we are still very high up. But yes, you can see there's an oak right there. Some other surrounding trees. And that view I was talking about, actually. Let me stand up again. Gotta be careful when you're so high up. There you go. I was just thinking as well, from out here, you can get a really good idea of how the hammock is set up. I was just sitting in that, obviously, looking out that way, at the view out there. And actually, even though I'm far away from the trunk at the moment, and just appreciating that view a little bit more, I still feel pretty comfortable up here now. Had a little bit of a shaky moment, but yeah, I'm going to climb down now, and we'll have a look at some stuff on the way back. But other than that, thank you for watching this video and have a great day.
can pretty much do them with my left hand. Making a bit of a mess out of this. Just pull it open and let it fall out. And there you go. Bear in mind, I am 10 meters up a tree right now. And this hammock is called a Pro Force Trekker hammock. I got it ages ago, it served me really well. It's really compact and much smaller and lighter than my other one, but obviously doesn't have that mozzie net with it. But it's done well so far. But I think I'll be moving on to the other one. It's great for little setups like this though. What a beautiful tree.